Previously, this is what's been happening on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. I'm sorry, but this is all I can give you. We got a heart piece! Yay! You did a good job remembering that's a boy I'm proud of. I'll give you some candy as a prize. We got a heart piece. Uh, oh, excuse me. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen! Long time no see once again. As you probably may or may not notice, depending on what I decide to do. I may decide to not do it, I may decide to do it, who knows? Well, you guys will know, because you'll see the video, but anyways. Um, if you notice that I decided to put a previously part at the beginning, cool. If you didn't, well, that's probably because I chose not to in the end, because I keep battling back and forth in my mind. Do I want to do that, really? Has it been long enough? Because I actually thought about it. Okay, go away, that. Hold on, sorry for a sec, guys. I just... This window just popped up. You know how that is when your computers do that to you. Stop right there! Have you some errand in the canyon? Yes, actually. Indeed. That is actually where we're going to today, guys. I did promise you guys that we would officially, finally be going to the canyon. And I do apologize it's taken us this long to get there, just like the scars apologizing to us. Hooray for feeling sorry for ourselves. Yay. The canyon at Stone Tower lies this way. Be careful. Yes, indeedy. He speaks words of wisdom. Oh, I should probably uh, talk about that. If you notice on the right C button, I'll also go ahead and pause and show it to you. I went ahead and picked up the ocean title deed off screen, obviously, just to save us some time. Because you're going to need this if you want to pick up another heart piece along the way. What? More questing? But I thought we were done with that. Well, yeah, well, you've probably thought a lot of other things. You probably thought I wouldn't take an entire year to get this blessed thing done, but guess what? It take, that makes like two or three of us, depending on how many of us think that. Because I guarantee I was one of those people. <laughs> Seriously. I honestly thought I would have had this blessed thing finished up by the Christmas of win or winter of 2012, but nope, still going at it. It seems to be a common trend with me. It's crazy how that works out. Ugh. Kind of leaves a dry taste in my mouth when I think about it, because I constantly have to keep getting myself motivated, you know, like, it's like if you put down a pro- Dude, seriously? Detonating on my backside, what the heck's the matter with you? Don't you know thunder goes down there? You know, thunder down under? You'd be- See, you'd be smelling all kinds of blowing up sm Anyway, I'm like, don't try to be funny, dude. You, you can't. And I just realized something. Something rather important, actually. Crap. Uh, let me think about this. Uh, 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 oh, I need arrows. Crap. Hang on a sec, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I didn't mean to forget arrows. You actually kind of need some arrow. You're going to want to bring some arrows along the journey here. But anyway, what was I talking about originally? Oh, I was talking about the fact that I can't believe it took... I've taken an entire year and then some to get this stupid... Well, not stupid, but this... It's just stu... I'm stupid. That's what it is. That's where the word comes into play. Anyway, listen to me talk to myself, and here's a guy just calling out to me. <laughs> what are you doing in a place like this? Ikana Hill, beyond here is the place where spirits with troubles and lingering regrets wander. Even now, the spirits wander in search of one who can save them. It is unfortunate, but it is no place for one such as you. <laughs> but if you must enter, then you must obtain the mass containing wandering spirits that can be found near the ranch. Ooh. Foreshadow! Oh wait, no, we already did that. <laughs> yeah, if you remember a while back, we actually talked about the... Or talked about. We actually did it. So what am I talking about? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you won't let me until, pass until I had that. Well, it just so happens, we happen to have that mask that he's talking about. Um, if you remember, we went uh, we went ahead and raced against the Gorman brothers with Apana because they thought Apana didn't know a thing... A good... good <laughs> Talking hurts. I'm telling you, man. It really does. We won this mask, the Garrow's mask, that is, from the Gorman brothers. And you're going to want to go ahead and bring that up here, actually, and wear it. And then you're going to talk to him with it. Yee-hee-hee-hee. <laughs> That's a nice mask you're wearing. That is the mask of the leader of ninjas who once spied on the hilltop castle with the bloodstained history. With that, you may be able to call out their spirits that even now are still wandering. Perhaps you may be able to save the souls that wander beyond here. <laughs> oh, nice. 
leaving you on a stomp. And what's this about saving souls? What are you, Davy Jones' secretary? Send your years of servitude elsewhere, sir. Seriously. Talking about souls, you crazy fool. Probably working with four master darts from Yu-Gi-Oh, trying to steal our soul onto a card or something, and then feed this thing called the Great Leviathan. Eh, well, I digress. So, real quick recap, you need the Garrow's Mask and you need the Hookshot to get up here. So, if you don't have those, you can't get up here. Simple as that. Alright, oh jeez, please. Oh, I better let Tal tell you about these guys. These guys are nasty. Indeed, she doesn't lie. These nasty little boogers are packed with a powerful blast. They're solid rock that explode upon contact. Worst part is, when they come in one, they multiply. I'm telling you, man, they're like a freaking plague of rats or something, except the rats, they're, the rats here, which are the bomb chew, they're tolerable. These guys, ugh. I can't stand to be around, they're a pain in the butt. But anyway, thankfully we don't have to run into too many of them. So this is Akana Canyon. Never could tell whether this is, how whether they pronounce it, Ikana, Ikini, or Ikana. I, I really don't know, I, I'd have to look that up, because I didn't take a chance to do that, but... If any of you know the proper uh, pronunciation for that, what am I doing? I want the mask on. Actually, better let Tad, I'll tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you put on the Garrow mask, you don't have to do this, but it'll help you if you're like new to the area. Mister, you cold? Oh, what are you? Your worst nightmare. Yeah, these guys aren't really a lot tough. All you gotta do is hold up your shield and give him a good slice with your gilded sword. And every time you do this in certain areas, he will say the same thing over and over after his regret, after telling you about his regret, and of course the fact he's gonna share some wisdom. He tells you about some bits and pieces of you know that could help you out. In this case, he's talking about how to get to Ikana up in the upper cliff area, which I'll go ahead and show you. Belief or disbelief? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're a strange bunch, actually. I'll probably show off exactly... I don't, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't. You guys decide. Should I show them all off? Should I not? Who knows? Eh, it's probably not even worth... It's not really worth it. I've read all the dialogue. It, they just speak kind of in riddles and bits and pieces. Ow, seriously? What the fudge, man? Alright, so what you want to do while you're up here is... Ow! Dude, seriously? What the... Dude, dude, dude. Actually, you know what? I want to read the sign real quick now that I think about it. It kind of butt across the canyon. Beware of Octorox. Okay, that's probably not how it's pronounced, but seriously, that's what I look. That's what. That's the first thing that came to my mind when I see B U T T E. You know, or at least just the first four letters, anyway. Ow, dude, really? Seriously? No. Get out of here. We don't want you. What you're selling, sir, ma'am. Seriously, I'm gonna slam the door in your face. Or better yet, just take an ice arrow to your face. Alright, so, upon taking the ice arrow to freeze those guys, as you remember, we did that actually back in the Great Bay Temple to one of the Octoroks to reach a switch. You, you're gonna do that to get over here, and then you're gonna take a hook shot and hook shot your way up to the top using these wooden little uh, trees that look like they're about half dead. But, eh, beggars can't be choosers sometimes, you know. That's just the way of life is. And I just realized something. I forgot to do something really important, but I'll get to it eventually. Ow! Really? Crow? Crow hunting? Is it crow hunting yet? It really needs to be. Okay, you know what? You want to play that way? I'm going to play Bullseye. You ready? Walmart! Publix! Target! Wham! You're dead. Okay. Sorry. Couldn't resist. So anyway, upon getting up here, you're going to want to go ahead and strike the owl statue. And I suppose we can take a quick look around, assuming a crow doesn't attack us. If you look over to your left, you see a ginormous building with a trumpet sticking out of it. It looks like some kind of musical place. If you look directly up above us, there's Tingle with his crazy self. He's probably going to sell us the map to this area, on which we will buy. Look over here, you'll see a gate. Fancy little place, I tell you that. Must be keeping somebody out or something in, who knows. And it looks like there's like a sneaky boy to get in. Perhaps we'll investigate that. And if you look off in the distance there, let me see if I can get a little closer. The sunlight's kind of hitting it weird. Dude, 
Is that tattle? Go away. Okay, there it is. Look at that. Just seriously, look at that, if you can see it anyway. I don't know how it's going to show up, though, because sometimes the distortion of the picture is a little too nasty for you to be able to actually tell what I'm seeing, but from my angle, it looks like a giant peanut. Right in the background, seriously. That tall building with lots of dots on it, it looks like a giant peanut. All he's missing, all it's missing is a top hat, a monocle, some fancy gloves and boots, and he be the dancing peanut man. Oh yeah. Anyway, that's kind of lame. Didn't I say I was gonna do? Yeah, I was gonna do that. Hello, dude. Jump the gun, man. It's okay, fine, fine, fine. You wanna? You, you really wanna talk to him? Fine. You wanna talk to dead people? I'll talk to the dead person. Seriously. Well, actually, they're not dead. They're just spirits with ninja skills here. Come here. Come at me, bro. Oops. Sorry. Your two sword attack failed epically. Regrettably, although my arrival, you were spectacular. I shall take my bow by opening my heart and revealing my wisdom. Atop the hill here in Akana, no human presence is felt, except that of the parent and child living in the house with the water wheel. Wait, what? Water wheel? Speak again. Belief or disbelief rests with you. Oh, come on, man. You're getting to the best part. Dang it. <sighs> Always, I tell you, they cut out the best part. They leave you hanging, too. I think, it's, I think that's probably why I don't want to talk to them too much, because they, they're they like a tease, you know? They're like a girl flaunting their stuff, and they're like, Oh, no, no, I'm not interested in guys. I'm actually lesbian, you know? But, hey, I'll show you my stuff anyway, you know? It's just kind of like, ugh, really? You're going to do that to me? Be a big tease? Okay, that's rather highly inappropriate, but... Oh, well. Who's to say what is and what isn't appropriate nowadays? It really is... That I guess it's down, it comes down to what you determine is appropriate and not appropriate. You know, I mean, on my channel, I mean, I'm, I give a fair rating. You know, I put my channel rating is PG PG 13. So I mean, if you're here watching this, you must be between the ages of PG to P. You must be at the age that you can watch PG to PG 13 material. You know, I try to keep it somewhat, you know, clean. But hey, it happens. <laughs> Just like this does. Fump. People knock you down, and you gotta find a way to get back up. What's this green clothes what fairy, sir? Could you by chance be the very same force fairy? Yes, I'm the same one that keeps buying your crummy maps. Oh, well, my name is Tingle. I think I am the same as you, sir, a forest fairy. A f Dude, we've been through this. I'm not a forest fairy. Oh my gosh, I'm getting a headache. Oh well. My father tells me to grow up and act my age, but why? I tell you, Tingle is the very reincarnation of a fairy. Ah, <sighs> facepalm, facepalm. Oh well. Live and learn, you know? Now, while I stand here waiting for you, yeah, 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 just some of your map. Lucky, lucky! Yeah, I bet I am. Yeah, yeah, I'm your friend with benefits. I'm the one that buys your maps. Here we go. Stone Tower, let's do it. Yippee! So we got the stone tower map. Woohoo! <coughs> oh, good lord, excuse me. Sorry about that. I was actually trying to hold that back. Kulu Lumpa! These are the magic words. Oops, sorry, too soon. These are the magic words that Tingle created himself. Don't steal them! Yeah, yeah. We know your deal. You got your own little catchphrase, just like I got my lame ones, you know. <laughs> Speaking of which, I'm still in developing some ideas for some catchphrases, but I don't know how good they'll be, but I'm not gonna, like, say them just randomly. I'm actually gonna wait till an appropriate time, you know, for me to release the passion I have to root... Uh, anyway. Why, why am I explaining this? How did I get onto this? Tangle, darn you, just darn you, Tangle. Anyway. Over here we can find the spirit house. And apparently they prepared some wandering spirits for us. Lovely. Let's go check it out. That sounds kind of cool. Do, 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 do. Ooh, ghost hut. Check it out, man. Dude! What are you guys doing here? You were in the freaking forest temple. What are you guys doing here? Huh. Now that, you think, now that I think about it, let me see if I can get a better angle. Looks like they're doing some kind of like erotic ghost dance. You know, the way their hands are moving. Like their belly, it's like the belly dancer version of ghosts. Man, 
If I were dead, I'd bury my tombstone right in your daisies. Oh yeah. Anyway, awkward moments aside. Let's talk to this guy and see what's going on here. <laughs> the Kata Kingdom was founded on this land, stained with a history of darkness drenched in blood. Even now, it is a place where troubled, regretful spirits gather. If you are seeking the one who is stronger than you, ah, oh, you may find strength here. From a group of spirits plagued by lingering regrets, if you have faith in your skills and might, then try saving these wandering spirits. <laughs> but the earthly price you must pay is 30 rupees. Will you do it? Will you still do it? Yes. Oh, shoot. I don't have enough rubies. Duh. Well, crap. I'm gonna have to come back here and do this, then. Oh, well. Material for another episode, you know. No, Crow. Just go away. Go away. Dude. These mummies, man. I just haven't noticed this. They're, like, really off an inch and closer and closer to that house. There must be something good in there. Maybe... I don't know. Maybe their mummy is in there. Yeah, okay. That was kind of stupid, but... What can you do? Sometimes it's just worth it. And then sometimes you just get a lot of face palms and a lot of dirty looks saying, Seriously? What the fudge, man? Alrighty, so... Let's go ahead and do what I want to do and get that out of the way. We're actually going to go ahead and use this last title deed right over here. We'll go ahead and get that out of the way because there is a nice little goodie... If you followed me up to this point so far, you probably can guess what this is going to be for. Go figure. They don't really leave too much room for imagination, I suppose, once you figure stuff out. But then again, I guess it's kind of a good thing, because then it's not totally unpredictable what you got to do. Oh, crap. Hang on. No, 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 no. We don't want to buy it. No. Just, no. Alright, now what did I want to do? Okay. You got to wear the... Zora Mask actually to do this. What you're going to do is you're going to talk to him with the Zora Mask and you're going to have the Zora or the Ocean title deed. I'm here to sell blue potions. Actually, I want to do business in the sea breeze while listening to the sound of the waves. But to open a business in another place, you need to go through uh, proper channels first. Do you know what I mean? I think I do. Here you go. Oh, if that isn't the ocean title deed! Oh, let me have it! Please! Uh, if I have that, my dreams will come true! I'm not asking for it for free. Here, I'll give you this! Do 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 do! Huge ruby. Nice. Alright. Okay. I can live with that. Oh yeah! The nut brown beauties are waiting! Oh, <clears throat> yes. Uh, what? The fudge? Nut brown beauties. What kind? And never mind. I don't want to know what his fetish is. I just I'm gonna leave that up to imagination. And so, and I sh I advise you to do the same, folks. That's all I got to say. Alrighty. So anyway, right over here. Jeez, I say that a lot. Good lord, man. You gotta dismiss every little joke with a so anyway. <clears throat> Serious business, y'all. We can't have any jokes in here. <laughs> For real. Alrighty, so over here we got a heart piece. Yay. And I see we got 200 rupees. Nice, I should have did this before. That was my bad. I wasn't thinking about it. I was too busy ratting you guys' ears off about nonsense. Go figure. And, oh crap. Really running. Well, we're not really running out of time. I got all the time in the world, but I don't want to keep you all waiting too long. So that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Love you all very much. Please don't let the show swap. And in the next episode, we're going to go... Uh, take on the spirits, and then we'll probably do some other cool stuff in this dead area. You know, the Twilight Zone. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I guess that's question of the video. How do you pronounce Ikana? Or I-K-A-N-A. -A, the name of this place, basically. Leave in the comments how you pronounce it, or how you think it's pronounced. And, uh, see you next time. Bye!